Hi everybody, this is Greg Gossett from Gossett Trading and Mentoring and today is Wednesday, July 31st, 2024. Hey, I appreciate you coming by. I hope you're doing well. Uh, if you were a bull, you had a big, uh, big good day today, so uh, happy for you. And uh, I had a good trade today, intraday trade, a short trade, as a matter of fact, on the cues on the five minute that I want to share with you. Um, I'll go through, talk about why I took the trade, how I set my stops, and uh, what strategy I was using to enter the short trade. And uh, so I hope it's helpful for you. And uh, if you do find these lessons helpful at all, um, I really would appreciate it if you could hit the thumbs up button. It really helps to build the channel and lets YouTube know there's some valuable content here. So here we are, cues on the five. Now, I have been showing a lot of these trades. And uh, if, if you're not paying attention to the symbol, you would probably think I'm showing you the same trade every day. But that, I think, is the value of these trades because I've been showing you these over and over and over again, and they work a lot more than they don't work. So this is cues on the five minute. Keep in mind, we had a very big, strong day on the cues, but I was still able to get in here and make this nice short trade. And why? Well. Let me bring your attention to a couple things. A lot of things going on here. And it's important in trading, you know, I've been trading for almost 29 years. The longer I trade, the more I realize that you really need a confluence of com or combination of signals or the landscape of the trade to put yourself in, a, in in the best position to have a profitable trade. In, in other words, if there's a lot of things going in your favor, you're more likely to have a profitable trade. So first of all, let me just point this out right here. Here we have this top. Again, these are five minutes on the cues. Here we have this top. Look down here associated with the MACD. The green MACD is showing that there is positive momentum uh, on this move up. So we make this high here and we have a lot of positive momentum, a lot of green bars. Then we pull back and we go red, which is normal. You start going down, you're going to have some red MACD. But then the key is here. Look at this high here. This is obviously higher than over here. But if we look down to the MACD, where's the green? There is no green. What this is showing you is that yes, the price is going up. However, from a MACD reading, from a MACD momentum reading, this move up is does not have any oomph to it. It doesn't have any momentum to it. Yes, the price is going up, but from a MACD perspective, it's not registering that there was a lot of strength in this move. So here we have a high, green MACD bars, pull back to red, make a higher high, this should at least have some green, or if it was a strong move, this would be taller green than over here. But here we are higher high with absolutely no green whatsoever. Okay, so that's what brought my attention to the trade. This is called a double top with a bearish MACD divergence and a missing right shoulder. It's called missing right shoulder because there should be some green here. And so this is the left shoulder. There's no right shoulder. So this is what brought my attention to the trade. Now, just because something has a bearish divergence doesn't mean you just get right in there and short it. Okay? This is very important. The, the double top with the bearish divergence, this should bring your attention to the trade. But you still need to see the price action do something before entering a short. All right, so double top bearish divergence brought my attention to the trade, but I, again, I still need signals. Okay, so I have this trend line, it's drawn back from here. I have this trend line here. Now, when we break the trend line to the downside, like we did here, right? We were above the trend line, above the trend line, we broke to the downside. To me, this is significant. This is showing me that now the tr trend to the upside has been broken to the downside. In addition to that, do you see this swing low here? Swing low has a higher low to the left, has a higher low to the right. 
these two bars here break this swing low. So you have two indications that the trend has gone from a positive trend to a negative trend. Break of the trend line, and then this here goes below this swing low. So now I am looking at this as we went from a bullish market structure to a bearish market structure. And I've mentioned many times on these videos, when you go from a bullish market structure to a bearish market structure, very often, not always, but more times than not, you will have an initial move back up. Or in other words, you'll have a counter trend move. Remember, the way that I look at this is we broke the trend line, we broke the swing low. This puts us into a downtrend. So a counter trend move would be an up move in the bigger downtrend. Okay? So as soon as we break the structure here, take out the swing low, break the trend line, then I look for the highest up bar close that happened before the market structure change. Well, this was it right here. From the bottom of this bar to the top of this bar, the bottom is 470.59, the top is 471.36. And that's why I've drawn this red box here. This is the shorting area. That's called the bearish order block. This is ICT stuff. You can look him up on YouTube. So Theoretically, anywhere in this red area here is a shortable area. But what I, I, when this happened, I was looking as we started to, as we broke structure and we started to move back up, I thought to myself, okay, one of three things I'm going to do here. One, if we reject the bottom of the order block, like we did, that would be a potential entry. Or two, if we get to halfway of this big down bar, I might go ahead and short there. And you have to get used to shorting into strength. I know it's hard to do, but if you've broken market structure to the downside, there's nothing more I like than to short into strength. The third option would be a rejection of the top of the order block. So there's different options that you, you can take here. But here is where I got short at 470.42. Why? Because this bar, do you see how we went up into the order block and re rejected it and came back down? That's what I said before, you know, when I was looking to enter the trade, that's what I got short. So I got short because it rejected the bottom of the, of the bearish order block. I got short at 470.42. Now, as soon as I get short or long, I always place an emergency stop. This is a short trade, so I place my emergency stop two ATRs above my entry price. Whatever the entry price is, I look for the two ATR reading and I place that up there. If the next bar had gone all the way up there and touched it, I'm just out of the trade. I don't wait for it to close, nothing. If it close, if it touches that emergency stop, I'm out. And the good news, is that only happens about 5% of the time. 95% of the time, if you have a loss, it's going to be a close above your end of bar stop. Well, my end of bar stop was very close, which is good trading, right? If you're wrong, you can be wrong small. My end of bar stop was a simply a close above the bar that I entered in because it created a swing high, gave me a good pivot point. If this next bar had simply closed above this high here, 470, 74, even a penny, I would have been out and out for a small loss. That's the key in trading. Being patient, waiting for the setup, waiting for the entries, position sizing correctly, placing your emergency stop, having your end of end of bar stop, making sure that end of bar stop is a good risk to reward ratio so that if you're wrong, you can be wrong small. If you're right, you can be right big. Okay, so Two ATR emergency stop up here. My end of bar stops just simply a close above this bar here, 470.74. Close is the keyword. Now, these are defensive maneuvers. These are these are both stops, right? In case something goes against me. So that's defensive. Let's talk about the offensive. 
So if my maximum allowed loss is two ATRs, I want to have at least a two to one risk to reward ratio. So in other words, I want to place my profit target at least four ATRs below, right? Maximum allowed stop or maximum, my emergency stop, two ATRs. That's my maximum allowed loss on this trade. Again, only 5% of the time it's going to get there, but it could get there. So I have to figure that in. Two ATR stop to the upside. I'm going to place a four ATR profit target to the downside. And that is the green line. So I enter the trade. Now one of four things is going to happen. One, I'm going to hit my emergency stop. Two, I'm going to have a close above my end of bar stop. Those would both result in losses. Number three, I'm going to hit my four ATR profit target. Or number four, the end of the day is going to come by and I'm going to it's not going to have hit any of them and I'll end up with a small gain or a small loss. Okay. So that's the trade double top bearish divergence. That's what got me interested in the trade, the break of the trend line, the change of the market structure. That is what changed the structure of the market. Now I'm looking to for a counter rally uh, and a rejection of the bearish order block or somewhere in the middle of order block. And that's what I did. Got long 470.42, two ATR emergency stop, four ATR profit target, and a bar stop above 470.74. And off we went. Started off really good. Came back up here and I was like, uh oh, this is getting a little, this is getting a little close because it was nicely positive. And then at one point during this five minute bar, it went slightly negative. But then we had the big move down and got here. I had a limit order in at six at 467.84. And I did hit my four ATR profit target for uh, looks like about two, 2.49. So almost $2.50 to the downside, 0.53% on this day, day trade. So really good trade. Again, I've shown you so many of these and they're all different trades, but they, I know they all look the same. Um, it goes to show you, you really, you know, what a good strategy uh, this is. And if you'd like to learn more about my strategies, I trade seven, eight different strategies. And um, there's three ways that you can learn more about them, how I approach them, how I trade. Uh, the first is I have a YouTube um, uh, podcast each Saturday on YouTube called the Gossip Trading and Mentoring Weekend Review. I go through uh, through all of the trades that I've made in the prior week on the daily timeframes and the weekly timeframes, when I entered, why I entered, what the strategy was, how I position size, where I placed my two stops, where my trailing stop level was, and then how I am going to manage the trade. And you can see the trades I'm in and how I'm doing, but I think it's a good way to learn and, you know, in these videos, it's very, you know, they're, sh they're short, 10, 15 minutes, but that's over an hour. So I can do a lot more teaching and get into a lot more of the details. So I think you'll find that helpful. Uh, number two, if you would like to study with me, I do teach private one-on-one -on -one lessons in the evening time via Skype. I have taught students from all over the world, um, from uh, absolute beginners all the way up, all the way up to professional hedge fund managers. And uh, in that course, I teach you step-by-step step all the strategies that I use. You'll know them like the back of your hand. I teach you step-by-step step everything. And when you're done with that course, I promise you, you will have a skill that you can use for the rest of your life. And uh, the best way to learn anything is one-on-one. -on -one, and that's why I offer them in the evening time via Skype. Uh, if you're interested in that, my email is in the description. Just send me an email and we can uh, get the conversation started, but I think you really like it. And then number three, uh, I do, t I have a great online video course at udemy.com. It's very inexpensive. It's very good. There's nine and a half hours of content and I teach you step-by-step -step how to trade the deep dip buy stock trading approach. This is one of the many approaches that I use, but it's a great one to start with. And that has like 4.9 stars out of five. And uh, it's just a really great course. And it will teach you step by step how to trade that one strategy. And that strategy is such a good one uh, to really get started with. So those are the three ways. If you have any questions about this video, uh, leave uh, the comments in the com your comments in the comment section. I'll do my best 
uh, to get back and explain. But again, I hope you found this helpful. I hope uh, you had a good day trading. I know if you were a bull, you did. So congratulations on that. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, speak with you tomorrow. But thanks again for stopping by, everyone. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye. U.S. Government Required Disclaimer Stock, options, futures, and forex trading is not appropriate for everyone. While there is a potential for large rewards, there is also a substantial risk of loss associated with trading. The material in this video or live broadcast is not geared towards any particular individual or to any particular financial situation and is not intended to meet the particular investment objectives of any viewer. This video or live broadcast, like all instructional materials produced by Gossett Trading and Mentoring LLC, is created and published for informational and educational purposes only. Any and all information contained in, implied, or referenced by this video or live broadcast is not to be construed as investment advice and no representation is made that any individual or entity involved in production of this video or live broadcast is an investment or financial advisor or is registered or authorized to give any financial advice. We are publishers and educators only. Therefore, the various producers of this video or live broadcast will not accept liability for any loss or damage of any kind which may arise either directly or indirectly out of the use of any of this material, including any loss of profit. No representation is made that any account or investment will or is likely to achieve the profit or losses demonstrated. We recommend consultation with a licensed and qualified professional before making any investment decision. This video or live broadcast is not to be construed as an offer to buy or sell any security, financial instrument, or financial product of any kind. Notice is hereby given that any individual or entity involved in production of this video or live broadcast or their clients may have an interest in any security, financial instrument, or financial product mentioned or referenced. Any simulated or hypothetical performance Result depicted does not represent actual trading and therefore may under or overcompensate for the impact of various market factors such as lack of liquidity. Thank you.